Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Wednesday the 16th of May. Looking at the euro dollar, well, the euro dollar from a technical point of view here, we've got this uh, pivot swing appeared on the dailies here. Quite a big move down yesterday. We've got support into the monthly S2 there, which may hold out this. It appears to be a bit of a divergence on this. Now, we've, we've, we have pitched through and triggered a sort of the... Uh, the signal that sits there it may continue to run on here it does look uh, a tad on the weak side but the 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 thing against it as i say is there is a bit of divergence sitting there now um looking from a four hourly perspective it's not really telling me too much different here um obviously clearly broke through that trend and has continued through that we saw from Monday uh, going through here to the hourlies. Well, one thing, you know, look at bouncing along and uh, breaking down. We, there is the potential to come back. We didn't do it yesterday, but there is the potential to come back towards a um, 30 minute fit. Also, I've got 30 minute 50 here. I've got a 30 minute chart. So let me just change that to a 60 minute chart. So it's uh, clearer in my head what we're looking at here. But uh, and what is just as important is that daily pivot that sits above there. Fine. Okay, so I'm just looking at that uh, 60, uh, that uh, the potential for it to pull towards that area. We'll see how we run through this early part of the morning. If it starts selling off, well, it may be quite a simple um, view. Um, I will look at uh, maybe joining any downside there, but uh, just wary. It may may get a bit of a bounce off this lev level, although it's not really done too well so far. Um, but if it does, I'll just watch it into that daily pivot. May look at shorting into that area, or maybe just beyond. We'll have a look and see how it uh, feeds there. But uh, the, obviously, the near term is uh, pretty bearish looking, and what we've got here. But uh, I'm obviously not wanting to ignore uh, the divergence that sits there um, on that. Uh, Across this hourly point of view, there's a bit of divergence sitting across there as well. Okay, um, let's have a look at the pound. So, pound wise, well, it still hasn't really moved out of this expanding wedge pattern. It's uh, yesterday it uh, pitched down a little bit, it is holding up on amazingly. As I said, it's pivoting around its monthly uh, S1 pivot and uh, seems to be uh, able to hold it hold its own there. It's not really uh, pitched off as much as one might have expected it to. Um, the only thing is that when you come down to this four hourly chart, it looks relatively choppy. Come down to 60 minute now, there is. Well, there are potential sell points. Um, just looking through the news today, is nothing that uh, is pound focused, but there are some euro, uh, euro, some uh, dollar action maybe this afternoon that might give it a kicker. But uh, it's uh, not particularly clear. Already back to the daily pivot after the str much stronger, and uh, it held on to its gains yesterday a little bit more. It slid off through the Asian session there, but it's pulled back up and, and recovered uh, somewhat better. Now, it's, it, on the sell side of this, it may be easier. I mean, there is the potential for it to to roll over if we start seeing it uh, break this sort of trend line that's running up here that I haven't put on at all. Well, let's try again. That's the trouble with these tools. Never, never try and use a tool when you're live recording. Okay, so if we start breaking down the area now, it may get a bit of pre break uh, pre eight pre eight o'clock, which I'll ignore and readjust the the line accordingly. But uh, um, if it starts breaking through there, well, maybe we've got to have a couple of targets in terms of uh, uh, the mid area, or maybe the, the, the earlier lows there, but maybe the sort of mid area and uh, yesterday's body low there, and may effectively eventually that S1 potential. So we'll see how it uh, if it rolls to the upside. Well, it may f run into some resistance sitting across that 5200 area on this 60 minute time frame. Dolly yen. Looking from a daily perspective, it managed uh, to push on through that uh, daily 200 yesterday. We keep on talking about it in the video updates and it teases and it pulls back away from it. Eventually it's gone, hit it, gone through it. Um, so uh, where to next? Well, we got the monthly R1 above, which is potential. Let's have a look at the four hours here. Nothing obvious. It got a bit over, well, I say, but overbought. It probably got extremed, it pretty extreme on the RSI here. 
uh, but that uh, may just see price level out and then push up again uh, which is pretty much what we're seeing at the moment it has got a daily pivot there below us that uh, could provide some support if it does come drift off a little bit more the RSI is really just showing what the price is doing just soft and pull it pulling back there so um, my preference if I was looking at the EM was for it to have hit that daily pivot first if, if I'm looking for lot on the long side but it has uh, this near term been pushing up so um, uh, got the potential of a continuation there Aussie dollar Again, pretty weak, never went quite as weak as uh, the prior lows there, didn't make new lows, but uh, weak all the same uh, through yesterday. Um, in fact, um, so I'm still wondering whether we'll uh, see a continuation of it, whether it will just reverse around a little bit there, but um, okay, looking into this 4 alley, running into its 4 alley 8 here, so failing against that at the moment, these markets are not particularly straightforward um, okay already caught the daily pivot here now again this is one that maybe we'll would look at a trend just look at the trends and see if it breaks over now we could see it chop quite a lot this morning it normally does in the mornings it's more prone to early morning chop and may, may start moving a little bit later I mean it's 12 o'clock when all the markets really started kicking off yesterday um, this may do similar um, but uh, I shall Dear, clear of that one for now. Finally, Canadian dollar. So, Canadian dollar, what are we looking at here? Well, it did have quite a good shove up. I just need to uh, actually, I just want to have a look at what oil eventually did in the end yesterday uh, before I carry on there. It's still pushing on and holding on, okay. Now, it, but it's not uh, making or well, making anything new in terms of highs. Let's go back to the Canadian dollar if I can. Where are you gone? There we are. Um, so Canadian dollar. So um, it, it, if we see the dollar strength coming through and continuing to push through, well, maybe uh, that would continue up at the moment. Consolidation, nothing completely uh, straightforward. And as, as is often at this sort of uh, part of the day, um, it's just in this sort of chop mode so again I shall uh, steer clear of it at the moment um, I think if all the other markets soften it, it's got the potential to soften would like to see oil coming off to uh, help that upside but uh, it really steered up yesterday so that's pretty much it from the technicals from the fundamental point of view today we've got uh, the final CPI data coming out at 10 o'clock uh, for the euro which probably won't create hardly any volatility at all because we've seen the individual countries already um, released we may get a bit of a pitch around it but uh, Draghi speaking at 1 p.m. nothing much to say because it's not a key speech or anything so not worried about that uh, 1 30 has a bit of news coming out not of significance there US building permits God knows why they have that set as red because it's not that important at the moment it's just not driving things so uh, and housing starts at 1 30 yeah, we may get uh, we've got an FOMC speaker um, at 1 30 uh, due to speak about the economic outlook at the Augusta cotton exchange okay um, so that might we may get a bit more volatility come from that FOMC speaker um, I'm just looking to see a voting member uh, so he's a voting member so he has a bit of clout so there we are that to may create some volatility at that, that, that time. Uh, thereafter, this afternoon, capacity utilization, industrial production may get a little bit of movement from those now. They may start pitching in a little bit as the economy starts to uh, progress. There will be more uh, waiting maybe on those. Uh, crude oil inventories may be later on for oil prices and the Canadian dollar. So that's at 3.30. Okay, that's it for me. Have a great day. Bye for now. Music